How's it going guys, Dr. Alex St. Pierre here. In a previous video, we looked at how we could address uh, pain and tension on the inner part of the lower leg. Uh, today we're gonna be uh, dealing with the outer part of the lower leg. So just as we started before in the last video, we're gonna find a couple of safety landmarks that you can use to kind of uh, guide where uh, your ball should be and the path that it should go. So as opposed to finding the medial malleolus, which is a big bony piece on the inside, which we did last day, we're gonna go and we're gonna find the lateral malleolus. So this is really easily identified. If I turn my foot in and out like that, you can see a big bony prominence appears in through here. So that's gonna be our lateral malleolus. Just as before as well, we're gonna use our two fingers to find the Achilles tendon in through the back. We're also going to, up right above the knee, we're gonna move back and forth like this and we're gonna find a bony piece and that's gonna be the head of our fibula, which is the bone that's on the outer part of the lower leg. So using the ball, you can run it all along the path just below the head of the fibula, down to in between the lateral malleolus and the Achilles tendon. So how I like to address this is set up as you would if you were going to Go for the calves and then just turn the leg out to the side like that and then you can slowly work the ball up and down the lower leg just like that so don't be afraid to get down nice and low in behind the lateral malleolus and in front of the achilles tendon so again you can spend a little bit of time rolling just in through there now for some people, this might actually be a very sharp sensation. That's all right. It might also feel a little bit dull, a little achy. If you're unsure of whether or not that's an okay sensation that you're feeling, talk to your physician or talk to the therapist that you work with. So take about two to three minutes. You can go longer if necessary. Spending a little bit more time on the areas that are a little bit more uncomfortable and a little bit more sensitive. Okay. So you can do this as part of your warm-up for your lower body exercises. It can also be done before or after you're going for a run. Um, and it's a really easy way to help to improve some of the uh, mobility and through the foot and through the ankle, as well as relieving some tension in through the lower leg. Give it a try. 